Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw meat lug from How to Train Your Dragon. I'm going to get started at the top of my page with the eyes. So let's start on the left side with a circle. Starting from the top, just work our way down towards the bottom. And then back up to the top. Now I want to draw the right eye just up against the left eye here. So I'm going to start in the middle and then just circle around. And then back in towards the inside. Now let's go in and draw in the upper eyelid. So from the center here, I just want to curve up and out. We'll do the same thing on the right side, curving up and pulling that out. Now we're going to draw in the lower eyelid. So we're going to go in the opposite direction, starting from the outside. Pull that in. Same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw the pupils on the inside. Now we're going to tuck them underneath the lower eyelid. So on the left side here, we're going to draw a half oval going up. And then down. And then on the top left side, we're going to draw a tiny circle or highlight and we'll fill in the bottom area in black. Just below the eyes, I'm going to draw on the nose bridge. So on the left side, I just want to draw a curve going up in between the eyes and then down on the right side. Just down a little further, we're going to draw in the nostrils. So on the left side, I want to step in, draw almost like a sideways raindrop going across. And we're going to fill that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side, just flipped over. So starting on the inside, we're going to curve out, round it out, and then just pull that in. We'll fill that in black. Let's draw in a large mouth underneath the nose. So starting on the left side, we're just going to curve down below the nostrils and back up on the right side. And then on the ends, I just want to close off the mouth with a little bracket. And then we'll tuck the fangs in underneath the mouth. So starting on the left side and the right, we'll draw two large fangs. Going up towards the eye and then pulling that down. And then in between, we're going to draw smaller fangs. Starting on the left, we're just going to work our way across with these little upside down V's. And then on the side of the big fang, we'll just draw one more tiny fang. Underneath the eyes, I want to add an extra eye bag. So between the nose and the eye, we're just going to curve down and out. Do that on both sides. Now that we've got the face, let's go ahead and draw on the rest of the head. So on either side of the eye, we're going to draw a curve, almost like a half circle, towards the top of the head. And then we'll pull that down on the right side. Now here we want to draw a larger circle for the chin. We're going to come down pretty low. Starting on the left, we're going to curve around the mouth, down towards the chin. Now I want to bring this back up towards the right side. Up at the top of the head, he's got these two little wings. So we're going to start just left to center. We're going to curve up and out towards the left. Stepping over towards the right, we'll curve up and out towards the right. Now we're just going to add these little half circles going back in. Starting on the left, we're just going to curve in and then back out. Do one more, curving in, back out. Now we're just going to pull this in towards the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Along the bottom of the chin, we're going to add a cluster of these circular warts. So starting on the left side, we're going to draw these medium-sized circles. You can vary the size, you can go larger, you can go smaller. You just want to spread these out. They're quite random. One more on the end here. Now we're going to show that the warts are sticking out. So we want to start on the left side and draw a bunch of like half circles just sticking out. Again, you can vary the size of these to go larger or smaller. I'm just going to work our way all the way over towards the right side. Okay, now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start on the side of the jaw here. We're going to curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. So lining up the top, we're going to curve out and then just pull that in. Now we're going to tuck the upper part of the arm underneath the shoulders. So stepping back, we're going to curve around and then just pull this in. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll tuck the forearms underneath the upper part of the arm. Starting on the outside, we're going to curve out, and we'll just pull that in. On the inside, we want to step in and curve in the opposite direction, going a little bit wider 
as you get down towards the bottom of the arm. Do the same thing on the right. So stepping in, go out, and then down. On the outside, we'll curve in the opposite direction, down towards the bottom. Now we're gonna add the toes. So in between these two points, we're gonna draw three curves going across. So we'll draw one on the left side, go to the inside and draw one going the opposite direction, and we'll fill in the gap with one more. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So we're gonna draw one curve, almost like a little half circle, and then we'll just go in between with one more. Now we're gonna connect these points with a curve going down for the tip of the fingers. And then on the inside, I just want to draw one thumb. So stepping up, I'm just going to curve in and pull it in behind the arm. Now down here, I want to draw the lower part of the belly. Just above the thumbs, we're going to curve down in the middle and up on the right side. I want to add a little wrinkle in the chest area. So from left to right, just draw one little curve. Now I'm going to have the body sort of turned over towards the right. So I'm going to start on the right shoulder here. I'm going to curve the back coming down towards the bottom. Now this lower part of the body is going to go up. So we're going to draw a short curve going up. We're going to leave a little gap right here. We're going to add the tip of the tail. So stepping up, I'm just going to draw a circle. It's like a half circle going around. And then we'll tuck that in underneath the lower part of the body. Now in the tail area, we want to add some more of these little warts. Just randomly spreading these out along the top area. And then in the tip of the tail area. Do a couple more along the bottom. Now we're gonna draw some more warts along the perimeter of the tail. So starting at the top, draw these large half circles. I wanna add a few more spots along the arms here. So starting on the outside of the left arm, just gonna draw a few little tiny circles on the outside edge, and the same thing on the right. Let's go ahead and finish this off with the wing. So we're going to start right where the head meets the shoulders. Curve up and out towards the left. Up and out towards the right. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction towards the tip of the wing. Curving out. Now I want to work my way back in for the top bone of the wing. Starting at the tip, I'm just going to taper in towards this point so it gets a little bit wider. Now we're just going to follow this curve in behind the body, just beside it. We'll do the same thing on the right, starting from the tip. And we'll curve that back in behind the body. Let's add the bones coming down. So from this point in here, I just wanna curve out and then down towards the left. And we curve the second one coming downwards. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting in the top here, we're gonna curve out. Just pull it down. Going back to the top, we'll curve it downward. Now we just wanna connect those points with a curve. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in and then just pull it out. Do that again, going in and then out. And then to connect the wing to the body, we're just going to pull this in with a curve in behind the shoulder. Do the same thing on the right, starting from the tip. And then finally just pulling this in behind the body. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Meat Lug from How to Train Your Dragon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.